Just had the most refreshing day off. I loved it. I was able to live stream and Twitch stream. That was actually really fun. I got to hang out with you guys pretty much all day long and play some video games. Today we've got some fun stuff to do. So let's go ahead and get to it. This thing is seriously so clean. I like, I like my Zamieras. Thank you, yeah, I appreciate they're, they're it. Always... It's for sale if you want it. <laughs> no, I got mine. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, thank you. All right, take Thanks, it easy. Sir. I need the receipt. My wife has it, she's not here, so. I, that's the only way that I can have you. Can you look it up my phone number? Do you have the card, do you pay credit? Yes. A few moments later. Thank you. going to was a hike to get to man I look like I'm in the middle of literally nowhere if you look around me right now it's so hard to find a shop that makes custom steel braided brake lines I thought that you'd be able to like just find some from your local parts store nope gotta go to a custom shop gonna get some steel braided brake lines and we're gonna get this hydro fully functional and we're gonna get our angry music man's wait don't Actually, we're not gonna try and make him angry anymore because I don't I don't want that man to have an aneurysm and die. Oh my god. It is out here in the middle of nowhere. I finally found it though. Let's get some braided brake lines. Let's go have some fun for the day. Hi there. The struggle of having a race car. You put your harnesses on, and guess what? You can't reach your door. So guess what you reverse? You go in reverse, boom, slam those brakes. There you go, thanks dude. Appreciate you. Oh my God, dude, look at this alignment right here. That is sick. A lot of you guys know that a lot of you guys know that I deal with anxiety and those of you who followed me lately and especially those of you who follow me on Snapchat and stuff like that know that I like to be open about it because I like to be transparent and let you guys know that I'm a real human too and I go through these sorts of things. Today's been a really rough day for me. I've been having a lot of panic attacks these last couple days. It's always random, it's always randomized, it's always weird, but it's been kind of rough today. One thing that I really like is uh, I was thinking about this on the way over. The main release for me, I think, for, for anxiety is driving and that's always been that way and that always it kind of reassures me you know it's kind of nice to, to to know that you know i'm not building a drift car i'm not building a track car i don't do all these events for views i don't do these events for fame and for for a name for myself like i do it because i love cars and driving ultimately is a way to get out of my mind sometimes and release myself from all the things that i have to go through daily some of you guys might be confused some people have said like oh it's probably because you shouldn't have moved out to california i don't think it's that at all i think I'd, i think i absolutely made the right decision and maybe all these attacks are because i did move to the right place not to put a damper on the video or anything let's go ahead and get let's go ahead and send a little bit let's go full send mode and get this hydro installed Oh my god, dude, he's so cute. Oh, I love dogs. I hope you guys know Victoria because of you guys now is going to go buy a dog. <laughs> like, Good. for real? Like, it's gonna happen now. I, I, I told you, like. We've been wanting a dog for so long, and now did TJ and Sabrina get the cutest freaking pupper right, in the baby. world. We've got, uh, as you saw, I picked up something from AutoZone. I got my, uh, my OEM replacement brake calipers for the Lexus, and guess what? I just forgot. I just realized that I forgot my rotors and my pads at home. I'm dead inside. I guess we're gonna have to come back for that tomorrow. Oh my god, so much stuff. So we got uh, we got the braided the braided brake lines. They're looking nice. Got the little connectors. One the big problem was I was not sure exactly how the hydro connector works or like what size it was so kind of brutal right there but it's all right i'm gonna see hopefully we got the right one the first time but this little guy right here there's a lot of different types of fittings that go into the uh, master cylinder and i'm hoping that we got the right one okay gotta take this little guy off of here 
Um, mm, I'm not sure if this is gonna work. What I'm gonna have to do is get a fitting that goes inside of that. So right now I have two female thread ends and uh, I'm not, so I'm not gonna be able to do that. So what I need to do is get some kind of coupler basically. So I need basically this without the wiener sticking out the side, like that, and then that to screw in like that. So that's a really simple, easy thing to do, but that's something else I have to buy now. I'm gonna try and remove the rotors without destroying them. If I can't do that, that's really gonna sucker, you know. But, um, we'll, that's, mm, mm. Ha. Ooh. Oh, there's, there's just some nice paddos. I just said paddos. I don't know why I said pads. There's your rotors. There, I just, oh my God, kill me, I'm, I'm done. Make sure both of these always work. And make sure both of these boys is good. Oh, both of them boys is good. Hey, TJ, guess what your boy forgot? Pads and rotors. <laughs> TJ, fix your car. Fix your car so we can go drift. I will. All right. You take my matrix if you want. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. I'll take your, I'll take your matrix, Here. Sabrina. Personally, I feel like every video I, I do a startup of this car, but the car sounds so good it never gets old, so I was gonna, I'm not gonna apologize. <laughs> Since you're, I forgot a bunch of stuff, we got a lot of stuff we still can do today. We've got, uh, ooh, ooh. Oh, there's a silent one. I'd like to figure out how to mount the hydro. Mounting the hydro is gonna be really easy. I just need to basically, oh my God. Um, there you go, thanks. So I'm thinking we could like get a bracket that goes across here, okay, and make some holes right there. And I think what we could do is we could make like an L-shaped bracket, right? Um, oh man, that's- Turning in gear, mate. We just... Hey, dude, I don't- <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's, that's, that's a throw. Wait. I know, it's bad. That's like five. It's, this is a truck transmission. Wait. The way that I had it, and I felt like this was pretty comfortable, I had it like right like here-ish. Right like right Just, there seemed pretty solid. Yeah. So my hands, it might be a little bit more forward or something like that. So like, that's not, that's not that far off. You just get a square, and then you make it come out and bolt it here where these four are. Oh, so say, now, yeah, okay, that's a good right, idea. So you just go over just a little spacer plate. If I smell it, Calvin, that smells so bad. That smells cool. so bad, dude. I didn't. Get out of, you gotta get out of here now. No, it's, prop dusting is very effective. You're telling me to leave your car. That is the last thing you want me to do. <laughs> Cause what you're saying it'll dissipate, it'll like no, just start. Because, no, I'll move the air that's around me and that will get to you. More than it it's is. It's already right. gotten to me, so I, it's too it's, late. So, do you want more? I'm trying to fan this. it away. You guys all right? can smell this right now, dude. KFC did him dirty. Dude, that KFC. hasn't even digested yet. Yeah, obviously it did, dude, because it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we've come to the conclusions that Calvin's farts stink. <laughs> We're both gas, dude. That KFC. <laughs> I'm gonna take the uh, the rear wheels off today. I can smell it through my shirt, Calvin. And I'm gonna start disassembling the rotors. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back tomorrow. We're gonna finish the, I can smell it through my shirt and it's making me gag. The entire rotor pad brake assembly needs to come out. I need to take the rear, the, the rear like plate off behind it and a bunch of other stuff. So I'm gonna get going on that. And we're gonna get as far as we can today on the Lexus. And that's actually it, I don't, I'm really bad at ending sentences sometimes on camera. I'm sorry. I just realized something. Um, the the brake caliper that I ordered from AutoZone only came with this part of the caliper itself. This little bracket right here or whatever, I don't know if it's called a caliper bracket, but I would assume that it is. I just realized that I do not have that part. Ooh, actually, not too bad. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reuse these. I'm gonna get my high performance uh, yellow pads, the racing pads that I have for the hydros, because those can heat up and accept heat really well. These are just going to still be used as regular pads. So I'm gonna use my eco pads over there. Dang gum. And I'm gonna get this dang good thing out of there. Oh shoot. Yep, see this is all that I got. 
Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure this is all they gave me. Let's there you go. So we have, I guess, the caliper itself with the piston. But we do not have the bracket that it is supposed to mount to, which is a big bunch of poop. I've had several conversations with TJ about this and I've asked other people that have installed hydros before. And everybody says that the hydro is one of the most complicated and also very pricey, but complicated and long drawn out processes ever. <sighs> This, this is the piece that I actually need, which kind of blows a little bit, but that's, that's okay. Doesn't appear to be, oh, wait. Oh, thank God, I do not have to break anything apart right now. Literally just comes right off, dude. Wow, and then here's your nice, uh, oh, there's your e-brake. That makes sense. That's why my e-brake wasn't working at the track because it's a drum design. All right, I had no clue that these were a drum brake design, but I guess that makes, that makes so much more sense now. Because if you guys remember, I was sitting there trying to yank the e-brake to get the car to slide into a corner whenever I was drifting and it wouldn't do anything. It would just slow it down a little bit. Well, you got your answer. Now I need to go back here and I need to remove this little dust tray. I don't know how I'm gonna end up. How in the hell? This could get interesting. Let's take a look over here at Club Lexus, AKA Bad News Central. In order to get this brake, this dust shield off behind, which I have to do to get that dual caliper on, I have to completely remove the, I have to remove the wheel bear. I might actually, since we're doing this, I might go ahead and gut, not gut, but just go ahead and remove the whole drum brake assembly since I'm never gonna have an e-brake again. I was not expecting it to be this difficult. I honestly thought it would be one of those things that I could just kind of just unbolt. I don't know why the, the it's, it's so difficult to get out. I'm gonna do some more research, but I was not expecting to have to do this. Shoot, let's freaking get it. There, there you go. This one, it's actually not a star nut. It's like, this one's pretty loose. Um, I might actually try and get this cotter pin out of here with my gains, actually not gonna use gains. I'm gonna see, I might be able to get this off tonight. <laughs> oh my God, you guys have no idea how difficult this is to hold a camera and do this at the same time. Come on, get out of there. <clears throat> oh, oh yeah, daddy's got you. And that, my friend, is a large nut. All right, let's oh, see if yeah. TJ's nut is big enough. Big daddies for my... What is that, for your dude. axle? For what my, you, what did you just say? For your axle, what do you think? Axle, yeah, I thought you, okay. I gotta take my whole, you, what? Just, let me show you, dude. To get the, to get the anti-dust thing off the back, I gotta take this whole assembly off. That sucks. Yeah, it's, Wait, it's brutal, dude. Are, All right. Is your torque down like so high that this compressor might not even have enough power? Wow, okay. You're gonna have to get like a, a breaker bar with the extension. <laughs> I snapped a half inch Craftsman breaker bar doing an action. No it way. You might get lucky. I'm feeling a chicken dinner tonight, so you never know. I'm gonna hope and pray that this little guy does some work for me. Look at this freaking kid. What are you doing? Get out of here, dude. That needs to just soak and get all the demons out of it for like a long time. Well, in the meantime, we're gonna do a full send for the boys. Didn't work, not at all. One day I'm gonna actually learn how to kickflip again every time, but it's not gonna be anytime soon. I'm just letting you guys know. Everybody say hello to the wife. She has joined me today. How is it that you're over there? You're, you have this much oh, distance you with- can't show this. I'm just you're You know what? You farted so hard. I can smell it from here, Dustin. You deserve to be exposed that you're using what? a beach towel on your car. What's it mean? Dustin uses, dude. Dude, I heard it from over there. I oh. have to get these giant nuts. What's the smell? I'm telling you, you Dustin you farted like over there. Dustin, you really need to like, you just need to fix your diet. We've got that epoxy. We need to just seal his cheeks shut. <laughs> All right, we're gonna epoxy your butt cheeks shut together. We're gonna go full blastoid onto this. I hope this gets off. I'm not too confident that the other side is gonna be that easy, but here's your big nut for the left side of the car. Hey, boys! Now I'm 
trying to do anything and everything to get Mr. Mans into the little brake or the rotor thing assembly. I'm trying to get that off the axle and it's not cooperating a lot. Pollution for today is um, I'm gonna work. Mickey actually knows somebody at Battle Version, oddly enough. I called the owner to see if they're gonna be able to help us out. And because uh, there's no really good instructions whenever you buy these. <laughs> Essentially, how these fit, right, is you, this is gonna basically slide into there. And I'm gonna have to shave a bunch of stuff down in here so that it can actually fit correctly. But I have to take this out. And in order to take this out, I've got to uh, hit the axle out. But in order to hit the axle out, the axle's gotta be undone from the diff. So I'm literally gonna have to come back tomorrow and uh, take the axles out of the diff and smack those out and then take these off. And then I also still have to get the caliper brackets as well. Something else really exciting is my, uh, my best man is flying in tomorrow morning. So I will be picking him up and you'll see, you'll see him in a couple of the videos. Um, I'm probably going to take another day off or two because I flew out here a long way from home and uh, I, all of my friends that I had back in Texas, I have not seen in forever. So he is, uh, he's my best friend since I've been little. So I'm probably gonna take a day or two off just to hang out with him and uh, have him just enjoy San Diego with us. But you'll see him in at least one vlog. I would love to be able to take him for a few skids in the Lexus to see how he likes it or doesn't like it. But I'm not sure that it'll be ready for that because of reasons. You're driving the Miata home, right? I get the Jeep? No. What do you mean? You don't, This is your car. I bought this car for you. I want to end this vlog by saying that life is hard and a lot of times in life we're faced with challenges. And I want you to know that it's what you make of your toughest days. It's what you do with the times that are the hardest is what really defines you as a person. Make the most out of what you're given every single day. As I said in the video a long time ago where I discussed my obstacles with anxiety, Tourette syndrome, and all that kind of stuff that I have to go through every day, don't be defined by the obstacle you've been given. Be defined as the person that overcame it. I just want to remind you that today I, I was it was a constant struggle with anxiety. I've been battling it lately. It's uh, it's an on and off thing. I mean, I did it. It was it was the same thing in college. So I don't want you guys to think that it's just because of California. You know, because I moved to California, it's like this. It's an on and off thing. So I don't want you guys to worry too much. But I, anyways, I still had a fun day. We're gonna be back tomorrow, trying to get as much done as possible. I'll catch you guys later. Thank you for watching. Peace out and be victorious. Dude, I'm gonna have to get a dog now. I don't even care if people accuse me of copying TJ. I don't care. I've been looking for dogs for forever. I want a dog. I need a pupper in my house. Click on one of those two videos and keep watching. Stay watching that channel. Stay woke. Peace.